Welcome to Tech Wizard with Zamir. In this video, we are going to learn how to load Excel file with multiple sheets dynamically into Azure SQL database. So when I say dynamically that uh, I'm uh, going to control this uh, list of sheets uh, by using summer table. Uh, so let's, uh, let me show you one of the scenario and uh, then we will walk through. Here is my Excel sheet. Uh, so think about that maybe tomorrow uh, you will get uh, this Excel file or different type of Excel file with a lot of sheets. So in this Excel, we have customer, product, and order. And maybe you only want to load two files, uh, two sheets from here, or maybe one, or you want to do load all three of them. And maybe tomorrow, if uh, there would be another 20 sheets here, you would like to load them into the Azure SQL uh, database table. So, so I'm going to write uh, some... Uh, pipeline so you in, in a way you can control the sheets you would like to load to do that what we have done we have created our table in azure uh, sql database and that we, we are calling it a sheet names so create table db sheet names and then i just insert identity column id and some sheet name here so this is the column where we will be same in our sheet name uh, the table is created and I'm going to insert uh, first only two rows. So in this case, uh, think about that. Our she Excel uh, has actually multiple uh, uh, sheets, uh, but we are only loading uh, customer and product. Uh, we are ignoring the order sheet at all. So we are not going to load that. Even it is there. So it will be ignored because we are going to use that uh, list, uh, 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 the sheet names from the table. Um, so right here, customer and uh, product. Let's select the data and you can see that as of now I have only two sheets names saved in my table. So whenever I want to make a decision and I want to have another two sheets or five sheets I can keep adding the sheets and it will work. So we'll do that. So first of all what we need to do we need to go to the Azure portal and here is my storage. In this storage I have uploaded this file. So go to the containers here and in the container I have input container and right here that's where our file is. So if I click right there and uh, see, I don't know if we can edit it here. So yeah, it is a view edit. Okay, so it is a kind of giving you, now you can't really see a whole lot of information on the Excel here. So you used to do download and take a look. But anyways, uh, this is the same file I was showing you. Now what we need to do, we are gonna go to the Azure Data Factory and here we are gonna create uh, our pipeline. So TechBrows IT ADF uh, is my Azure Data Factory name. I'm gonna go and open Azure Data Factory Studio and from there, we will be creating our pipeline. Go to the author, create a new pipeline. And the different people start, uh, like they create the first uh, link services and they go from there. But I'm going to do everything starting from the pipeline. Here, I'm going to call this uh, pipeline PL Excel. Let's call this uh, every time I hit right there, sorry. So PL underscore Excel load dynamically. Okay, spellings are really not good here. Okay, first of all, I need to get the list of the sheets. So, so how I do that, I'm gonna use a lookup here. So I'm gonna rename this, uh, get the list of Excel sheets. Okay, so go to settings and here I need to create a data set, um, create a new and uh, that, remember that our uh, uh, list of the sheets are saved in the Azure SQL database. So, so I'm gonna click Azure SQL database and here uh, I can give some name if I want, or uh, go and go here, create a new link service, go to the Azure subscription, provide the server name, and then provide the database name, and then uh, provide uh, our username and password. Uh, so I'm creating my link service. Uh, so this link service, I'm gonna call this uh, uh, Tech Brothers LNK. Okay, so this is our link service. Uh, test the link service, so it's uh, pointing correctly. And now we will be selecting our table. So I can select the table or I, I can leave that as it is uh, and go to the hit OK. And here I can write the query actually because my table has multiple columns and I only need to select the sheet name from db.sheetnames table. So this is a query, I can copy, verify my query, go right here and uh, then paste it. And now if I execute, it should get me the list of the sheet names. I do not need the ID. That's why I just uh, wrote the query instead of selecting everything from the table. Now we are all good here and I'm not gonna get only first row. I'm gonna get all the rows here. So 
our uh, list of the sheets ready in our lookup. Uh, now we need to loop uh, through. So we are going to use a for each. Uh, in the for each, connect your lookup there. And uh, now what we need to do, we go to settings of the for each. Uh, and here, go to the uh, items and add dynamic content. Uh, in the dynamic content, uh, we are going to select the lookup uh, and the dot value. So it's going to get us the sheet names. Uh, so here says output dot value. That's what you have. Hit OK. Now what we are going to do here, let me try to make this small so we can see more space here. And uh, here we will collect uh, on the pencil icon and now we will bring the copy activity. In the copy activity, what we need to do, we need to go to source and make connection to our Excel uh, file. Click a new, add your lab storage. Now select Excel. Hit OK, and here you're going to create uh, or use the existing link service. So I'm going to create new so you can see how I did that. I'm going to call this the Azure Blob Story 2. That's fine. Select the subscription and select the blob where your file is sitting. So our file is sitting on the Tech Brothers storage. Hit the test connection, create, and then we are all good. Now we will be pointing to the actual container and selecting the file. So go to the input folder and select the file. This uh, path and uh, this uh, uh, file can be done uh, with uh, by the, your uh, storage event trigger. So you can create the storage event trigger and uh, then uh, any file will come, it will trigger your pipeline and then uh, this file name will come from there uh, and uh, then you can uh, use uh, on daily basis and whenever you want to run and whenever somebody put the file there, it will be executing this pipeline and loading the data from the multiple sheets to your tables. Uh, so you can do that. I have a video on uh, event trigger. So watch that and it will, it will give you idea how to do that. In my case, uh, I'm going to be just fine here. I don't need to select any sheet name here because my sheet name is coming from the uh, my uh, for each loop uh, items. Uh, so I'm going to hit uh, uh, right here. Uh, yes, uh, sorry, uh, we can do uh, first row as a header, yes, and hit OK. Now I go back here, I'm going to go to the connection, and uh, here I will create a parameter. Why? Because I need to map that parameter in the connection string. So I'm going to call this one data set sheet name. So then we go to connection here, and uh, this uh, connection we need to tell uh, right there. Uh, once I click inside, so I, I had the problem with this guy. Whenever I click here, it will give me the drop down. So I am trying to find like how I can click uh, right there. Yeah, so I click on the very corner and then it gave me add dynamic content. Once I gave me, I can use the DS sheet name. So this is a parameter for DS sheet. That's the first data set. I have to go back to the pipeline. And here I need to map that DS sheet name to the our for each sheet name. So we are gonna go here go to the items and then we are going to say sheet name and this sheet name is coming from our remember that we look up values and in the lookup those values went to the for each and this for each has that sheet name so hit okay now we are all good here uh, let me see if there is any setting we have to do we had no we don't and then we are going to go to sync and uh, click uh, new and uh, here i'm going to say azure sql because I want to load the data to the Azure SQL database. So go right here, and uh, now I can use the same uh, tag browser, the LNK uh, link service, uh, because my uh, sheets uh, table was there, and also my I want, the, want to create the tables there. If I want to create a different table, uh, database, uh, I can create a new link service. So here it is asking me, hey, what uh, table names you want to use? Uh, I don't want to use any table because my table name has to come dynamically and those will be equal to the sheet name. So I'm going to hit OK. And uh, here I will go to connection, uh, open right there, go to the parameter. I'm going to create a new parameter called DS data set table name. And this parameter I will use in connection, go to connection. And here I will click edit. My schema name is going to be DBO and uh, my um, table name will be DS table. So that's the parameter, right? Now this parameter value will be coming from a sheet name of uh, for each. So I need to go right there, see right there on the uh, pipeline level. Now I have this uh, parameter value here and I can map to the for each in for each sheet name. So I'm mapping to the sheet name and uh, we are all set. 
there are more things you can do here. You can, uh, uh, I'm gonna auto create table. You can always uh, put like a truncated table and all that. If you wanna have a new, if the table does exist, uh, it's not gonna do anything, it's gonna load the data. If it does not exist, uh, it's gonna uh, um, add the records to that table. That's what it's gonna do. So remember that as of now, our query is only returning two sheet names. So even our Excel file has three sheets, it's only loading two sheets. So hit debug. And uh, let me take you to the uh, right there. So see right there what we have. Uh, uh, I'm gonna drop this table meanwhile while it get there. Or maybe it already have completed. So let me see. Because I wanna, if the tables are there, it's not gonna throw error. That's one of the thing. So I'm gonna delete these the tables there. And maybe go back first actually. So this got completed anyways. So uh, let's just go back and take a look. So let me do this quickly. Refresh, and I'm gonna drop those tables first anyways. So um, yeah, so those are tables we just dropped it. It was actually, it, it, those are the new tables were created, but I dropped it. So anyways, so let's go back and re rerun our pipeline. And uh, this time it's gonna read uh, the list of the sheet names from our table, and it's gonna get two records, right? So lookup is getting two records, uh, and once it gets to two records, uh, it's gonna pass those uh, two records uh, to the for each, for each loop is gonna loop through, use the copy activity, and get the data from those specific sheet uh, and load uh, to the tables. So it's gonna create the tables. So I see right there, uh, if we go right here, it read two sheet names, customer and product, uh, and then uh, what it did, uh, it provided to the for each, and then for each, uh, uh, copy that data. So if you guys right see, it's a two rows, two rows, and same thing for the next one. So now we can go back uh, and take a look on the Azure side. I'm gonna refresh this table. There should be two more tables called customer and product. See right there. So we have customer and product right there. So right click. If I wanna see the data. So see, the data came just fine because there was two records. Now if I select the data for other two, that data came just fine as well. Now I can do one more thing here and uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add one more value. So in this case, uh, I'm going to add the customer value as well, sorry, order. So now our table has the three values. So if you see this time, it's gonna return three uh, sheets uh, and the uh, order is uh, the one uh, that's a new. So these were existing, this is a new one. Now our pipeline, we are not making any changes in the pipeline. It should read these a list of the sheets and then load them. I'm not dropping these tables as well. And whatever the data will be there, it will be loaded to these existing tables. So that's also one good test. Most of the time people write on pre-execution uh, those uh, truncate table and uh, load them. You know, if the table does exist, it will uh, truncate and load. So in my case, I'm fine. I just wanna load that data, whatever it is. It's in a process of uh, queued, and now it, should, it shouldn't take long. It should be completing pretty quick. Uh, these are small. So you can see right there, uh, it got the list. Uh, this time, see what it have. Uh, so let's uh, see our lookup. Lookup got, look got three records of customer, product, and order. So we did not make change in the pipeline. We only added the value in the um, that uh, sheet name table. So that's how you can control it. Now three rec three uh, copy activities ran and data has been loaded. Let's go to the our Azure SQL and here uh, refresh the table and now we should see the order table right here. So order table is added. So if I go and uh, let me first uh, if I select the data from customer or product, there would be duplicate records. So see right there there are two records. If I rerun, it's going to have four records. So. It's, yeah, we, because if the table does exist, it does not drop and recreate, it just load the data. In the order table, it has loaded the data as well. And you can see that uh, 11 record has been loaded to the order table and table was created. So this is how you can create uh, uh, a pipeline that can have uh, load uh, multiple sheets uh, dynamically. So you can control the list of the sheets uh, by putting in some table and then uh, loop through them and uh, a load to your Azure SQL database. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.